Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you have broken EXE file associations on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this can be a very annoying problem, I can imagine. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is right click on a blank area of your taskbar and select Task Manager. Select Run New Task and then type in CMD and check mark where it says Create this task with administrative privileges and select OK. You can close out of the Task Manager at this time. And into the Command Prompt window here you want to type in ASSOC and then you want to type a space period EXE equal sign, like the equal sign like 2 plus 2 equals 4, and then you're going to type in exe file, so again ASSOC, and then you want to type a space, period, exe equals exe file, and hit enter. Now, if for some reason it says access denied, that means you're not running it with administrator privileges, which means you didn't check mark that box, and if it says it cannot find this directory, that means you typed it in wrong, Make sure you type this in correctly, guys. It's very important that you do that here. And you should have a little blinking cursor once that's done. You may need to restart your computer just for the change to take effect. So just go ahead and restart our computer. And then hopefully your issues have been resolved. One further thing you can do if you were able to go back into the command line by right clicking on the taskbar, select task manager, run new task, CMD, and then check mark create this task with administrative privileges, select OK. Again, if you're still having a problem, you can run a system file checker scan. So type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter to begin the system scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And I would suggest restarting your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point, your EXE file association has been successfully repaired. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.